Have you ever wondered why your mind drifts to seemingly random thoughts when you're inactive, or why certain solutions to problems pop up when you're not consciously thinking about them? This is related to your subconscious mind, which is the part of your mind responsible for processing information and controlling certain behaviors without conscious effort. The subconscious mind is a powerful tool that operates below the level of our awareness. It stores all of our memories, experiences, beliefs, and emotions. It also regulates bodily functions such as breathing and heart rate. So you can imagine that it holds a profound impact on our lives. What if we could work together with our subconscious mind to shape our lives? In today's video, we're going to show you how through the amazing book, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy. We'll give you an in-depth summary of the book breaking down its concepts and sharing practical tips. Whether you're already a fan of this life-changing book or just starting your journey in personal development, get ready for some eye-opening insights. Understanding the Subconscious Mind To grasp the significance of the subconscious mind, it's important to realize that it is constantly at work. It interprets symbols, attributes meanings, and regulates bodily functions effortlessly all without our direct awareness. This remarkable capability allows us to execute intricate tasks effortlessly, as if on autopilot. Think of the subconscious like fertile soil, where all our thoughts, actions, and eventually, our destiny grow from. Consider the skill of driving a car, for example. Initially, driving requires intense focus and conscious thought on every action, from steering the wheel to changing gears. However, as you become more experienced, these actions transition into the realm of the subconscious mind. This shift allows you to operate your car almost automatically, allowing the conscious mind to engage in other activities, such as talking to passengers or enjoying some music. This shows the incredible efficiency and capacity of the subconscious mind in learning and adapting. Your mind and body are powerfully connected. Research reveals that a happy mind leads to a healthy body and the other way around. So creating a positive mental space is just as important as eating right and staying active for top-notch health. It's therefore crucial to take a holistic approach regarding your health. By actively using the power of our subconscious, we can reprogram our life's trajectory. Each thought, belief, and emotion we hold is precisely recorded in the mind's vault, subtly shaping our view of reality. Transforming these concepts can profoundly change our lives and make our dreams our reality. The Connection Between the Subconscious and Emotional Intelligence Often in life we are being limited by ourselves without even knowing it. Our deep-rooted emotions stemming from past experiences and traumas are stopping us from reaching our full potential. These emotions stem from the depths of our subconscious mind, and can hold us back from living a fulfilling life. Powerful emotions like fear and anxiety are capable of paralyzing our conscious mind. Gaining mastery over them is key to developing emotional intelligence. This process, known as emotional alchemy, involves transforming negative emotions into positive energies. By understanding and analyzing our fears, we can disarm them, allowing us to move forward with courage and confidence. We can grow our emotional intelligence in a few steps. Self-awareness The first step to emotional intelligence is becoming self-aware. This involves recognizing our own thoughts, feelings, and behaviors without any judgment. Through self-reflection and introspection, we can understand why we feel a certain way and how it affects our actions. Start practicing self-awareness by writing down some of your thoughts and feelings throughout the day for a whole week, and after that, reflect on it. Can you find some patterns in your subconscious thinking? Self-regulation Once we are aware of our thoughts and emotions, the next step is to regulate them. This means being able to control our impulses and reactions, instead of letting our emotions dictate our behavior. It also involves managing stress and handling difficult situations with composure. Realize that you have control over your own emotions. So next time when you're getting annoyed by a certain situation, for example when you're stuck in traffic, recognize these emotions and ask yourself, do I really want to feel this way? 
Is it helping me in any way? If not, you can choose to let these emotions fade away and change your reaction to the situation at hand. And finally, empathy. Empathy is the ability to understand and feel what others are experiencing. It allows us to connect with others on a deeper level and respond to their emotions appropriately. When you've become aware of your own thought patterns, it's also easier to detect certain patterns in others and have sympathy for them. By practicing empathy, we can build stronger relationships and improve communication. An extremely beneficial tool in achieving this transformation to emotional intelligence is the power of forgiveness. Being able to forgive someone is not saying that what they did was okay, but rather releasing the negative emotions associated with the event. Maybe it wasn't okay what they did or said, but you're choosing to take control and not let it affect you anymore. Holding on to grudges and resentment only weighs us down and hinders our emotional growth. The Law of Attraction The conscious and subconscious minds are not in opposition. Instead, they are deeply interconnected and work together. The conscious mind serves as a gatekeeper, carefully evaluating the thoughts we choose to engage with. By managing our conscious thoughts, we can improve the mental diets that nourish our subconscious. In this way, we can influence our life experiences. Simply put, positive thoughts can create positive results. Let's explore some techniques to harness the power of our subconscious mind effectively. Positive Affirmations Repeating positive statements about ourselves and our desires can help reprogram our subconscious beliefs. For example, repeating, I am confident and successful, can help erase any limiting beliefs we may hold about ourselves. Meditation Quieting the conscious mind through meditation allows us to tap into the power of our subconscious. By focusing on our breath and releasing any thoughts, we can access our subconscious and reprogram any limiting beliefs. Gratitude Practicing gratitude shifts our focus to the abundance already present in our lives. By acknowledging and appreciating what we have, we create a positive mindset that attracts more positivity into our reality. Hypnosis Hypnosis is a powerful tool for accessing and reprogramming the subconscious mind. It allows us to bypass the conscious mind and directly communicate with our subconscious, making it easier to create lasting changes. Repetition is the key to getting any belief to stick in your subconscious mind. So make sure to integrate these practices in your day-to-day -day life and keep up with them. Of course, you can start slow. Maybe just focus on daily gratitude and positive affirmations for the coming month before adding in some meditation later on. Goal Setting and Achievement Through the Subconscious Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs is a well-known psychological theory that explains human motivation and behavior. At the top of the pyramid, self-actualization is described as the highest level of need, where individuals strive for personal growth and reaching their full potential. Everyone has a unique purpose, a blueprint embedded within the subconscious. Ask yourself, are my day-to-day -day actions, my work, how I spend my free time, aligning with my deepest desires and goals? By introspection, we can discover our blueprint and align our conscious actions with our subconscious compass, creating a life filled with meaning and fulfillment. One way to achieve this is through setting goals. The subconscious is a major player on the road to self-actualization. Setting and achieving goals is not a random process. It's a systematic procedure that utilizes the subconscious. You can tap into this by practicing visualization. Visualizing our desired outcomes in vivid detail can help our subconscious mind accept them as true, even though it is not yet reality. By imagining ourselves already living in our desired reality, we create a strong emotional connection that signals to the universe that this is what we truly desire. So, how can you put this into practice? 1. First, clearly define the desired outcome, and then create a mental picture of it. Vividly picture this goal in your mind. This step is essential as the subconscious mind responds to visualizations more effectively than words or thoughts, and it will cultivate the belief that it can and will be achieved. 2. 
Next, consistently visualize this image multiple times throughout the day until it becomes a part of your being and feels like second nature. Three, have unwavering faith. Truly believing that your desire will come true is crucial for making it happen. Once the subconscious accepts something as true, the universe conspires to make it a reality. Our thoughts and beliefs are like magnets, drawing in experiences that resonate with their frequency. Through understanding the power of our beliefs, we can take charge of our reality and manifest a life full of abundance, love, and happiness. The key is to align our conscious and subconscious minds in harmony, creating a powerful force that will attract everything we desire. In our quest to achieve our goals, we often encounter obstacles. The subconscious, however, is an unfathomable reservoir of wisdom and creativity waiting to be tapped. By posing a problem to the subconscious before you go to sleep, you can awaken with inspired solution that seem to have come out of thin air. The Healing Power of the Subconscious The healing power of the subconscious mind is showcased in numerous instances where people have achieved remarkable discoveries from sickness to the sheer conviction of the possibility. There is an undeniable, scientifically proven connection between our emotional well-being and physical health, showing that a harmonious mind can heal the body. The subconscious mind is also responsible for our self-image, which plays a significant role in our emotional well-being. Having a positive image of ourselves can boost our confidence and, in return, improve our overall mental and physical health. Relationships and the Subconscious Our relationships are frequently shaped by the subconscious, influenced by previous experiences and conditioning. From love relationships to familial dynamics, your environment, upbringing, and past experiences play a big role in these dynamics. By shedding light on these influences and conscientiously reevaluating their consequences on your relationships, you can liberate yourself from the invisible shackles of past conditioning. This way, we can develop meaningful, fulfilling relationships. Again, the crucial element here is faith. Believing that you deserve to have fulfilling relationships is a critical aspect in attracting them. Negative self perceptions tend to push away positive connections and instead draw in harmful ones, whereas a positive self-image will guide you to loving, meaningful relationships. Well, there you have it, an in-depth summary of the incredibly insightful book, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind, by Joseph Murphy. In our exploration of the book, we have shed light on the immense influence and power of our subconscious. Knowing this, it's now time for you to take action and shape your life according to your deepest desires. Take responsibility for the contents of your mind, because they are the architects of your reality. Could you think of anyone that could benefit from this wisdom? Then don't forget to share this video with them. Also, please subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on any videos. See you in the next one.